Good day, YouTubers. Welcome to the vlog. Just for you, crew, Domic Nation. Uh, we this is the the last moments of being uh, in Wananta. <laughs> Wananta. Oneonta. 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 Yeah. Oni, like pony. Life enjoyed. Oneonta. Oneonta. She's brushing her teeth and trying to teach me how to say it. Stonyanta, she said. Oh, Stony. Yeah. Oneonta. So we, the last moments, uh, we we stayed up till about 10:30, 11 o'clock last night, uh, yapping about you, the YouTubes, and uh, these guys are headed to New York City to do some collabs, uh, and also meet up with Julia's brother. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. my friend from college. Nice. Um, we're gonna go to an art gallery and have some dinner today, and then tomorrow the plan is to meet up with uh, Josh Greenfield from Brothers Green yeah. in Chinatown. And yes, of course, we're planning something giant, but you're gonna have to wait of for that. Of course. <laughs> they don't do anything but giant nowadays. <laughs> That's what you guys like. That's right. And we can tell by the views. <laughs> so. And the lack of views on things that aren't giant. <laughs> That's right, yeah. When you put up something that's not giant. Like you, sh you should have said, uh, giant Harry Potter ride. <laughs> <laughs> that might have worked. Yes, and they would have been, where is it? It was the whole thing. The whole thing was giant. It was okay. a giant video in Harry Potter land. Thank you so much for coming out, though. No problem. You know, it, it's awesome being able to spend time with you because, you know, you've been in the game for a really long time and you've been able to advise us and we've been able to kind of learn oh, yeah. from each other over the last few days. I've been learning from them the last few days. Well, just on Facebook. Yes, Facebook, <laughs> de definitely. Facebook tags. So it can go super low. So it can go like, oh, wow. you know, like real low to inverse. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and you go like this and then you pop it out and go the other way, something like that. So it's you can pack it. It's very like portable as far as storage goes. Me and, and it's actually that's the name of the company, Me Photo. Me Photo. The only thing I don't like are these turning things. Yeah. It's like slower. I'd rather just have something that I can snap, snap on off, yeah. But it's not it's, I like it. It's great for being on the top of a counter too. Because it, it can hold the weight of like the heavy DSLR. Yeah. So. Where the one, All right, guys. one doesn't. All right. Doesn't. All right, guys. I'm no, off. I'm not saying goodbye. Oh, group hug. Oh, it was amazing seeing you guys yeah, again. Thank you very time. much for letting me stay here. And yeah, we got to chat till late nights and oh, late, late talks. Thanks we for got last a, night. We got Cheers. a lot done. We got a lot done. And it's, and it's going to be awesome. I yeah. can't wait. I can't wait to produce it all. It'll be fun. Yeah. There's so much for y'all to see. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Good luck in Orlando. Hopefully, uh, Paul and I will zip down to visit you. Always welcome. So let us know when you're all fully settled in and you're willing to accept guests. All right. All right. See you, guys. Bye, Ken. Thanks again. Bye, Sam. It's 8.25 in the morning. Just text Carol, let her know that I'm on my way. And uh, I'm probably gonna do at least one Continue on food route. review before uh, I get home. I'll possibly do one in Rochester and then allow myself to digest that food and then do one in uh, Buffalo. But uh, I, I really wanna do the KFC hot chicken strips and uh, the other one I wanted to do. Um, there's another one. I'll think about it. I'll let you know. But uh, the GPS is trying to make me go off the road because the highway does this and then does this. So it's trying to make me cut off that corner, but it's faster. JP says just to stay on 88 until I hit 81 and then 81 north. 
and that way I'm not driving through the countryside like I was on the way here at nighttime. It was really crazy. All right, got uh, quite a few hours to go home. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the ride. Let's go. I'm at exit 12 on 88 and there's a Tim Hortons here. So I'm gonna try out. Take ramp ahead. Tim Hortons in, in the States. Uh, I don't think I've ever drank Tim Hortons in Continue the States. Continue on route. So this is gonna be cool. I'm sure they have the same recipe. Let's do it. In 200 meters, make a U-turn, then no, turn left. No, I wanna get a coffee. Well, it's an express Tim Hortons, as you saw, which is very cool. And uh, so it is burning my hand right now, so I gotta move fast. And then I got a muffin. There's a lady, she's getting like a box of donuts, but her and her whole crew were like picking and choosing and taking a long time. So I'm like, uh, can I just grab a muffin? Cause I know exactly what I want. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no worries. I just know you're gonna take a long time. There's a very cool ice flow happening. Do some ice climbing there. Sweet. I did a chocolate chip muffin. One of my favorite things at Tim Hortons for a breakfast item. Uh, so this is again the first time I've made my own Tim Hortons coffee at like an express. I didn't notice the sign said a, a cafe express. So I'm like looking for the counter with the lady wearing the brown, but there was nobody there. So here we go, Let's give it a shot. See if New York Tim Hortons coffee is as good as Canadian Tim Hortons coffee. And I could have made it wrong because you have to like do everything. You had to do the sugar and it's saying press here. I did 18% cream. Um, it's a little stronger, seems. And the, the big jug thing was down to like this much coffee. So I'm thinking possibly that it's been sitting there for a while. Yeah. Yuck. All right, let's start going home. Driving through Syracuse. Time to stop for some gas. Pretty much, whoops, pretty much empty. And uh, get out and stretch my legs a little bit. We've got 387 kilometers to go. I'm not sure what this one's called. This one's uh, Junius Ponds. Did I say that right? Junius Ponds? Possibly. Maybe not. I doubt it. <laughs> All right, let's get some gas, people. A few people have said there's a special way of gassing up at the pumps as a Canadian, so I'm gonna try that today, see if it works. It's like the, the numbers in your postal code plus two zeros at the end. Let's try it. So it looks like uh, you don't have to put any numbers in or anything, you just swipe the card. No need to put a zip code in or any type of thing. Didn't even have to put in my PIN number, which was interesting. I just swiped my card and it let me start filling up. So yeah, I don't have to go inside and irritate myself with confusion. Got the receipt. Good to go, people. $28.50 American, and it was the $2.47.9. Two, yeah, cents per gallon. Oh, 
I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Let's go. So I'm in the Rochester area. Vets Memorial Highway, dedicated to those who fought for our country. Nice, I got some garbage, hang on. Just gonna get some water, get rid of some water, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No pop today though, no pop. Got, uh, had to pull off the highway because uh, it is mandatory when driving through this area. It's like the last a cracker, cracker barrel. So I gotta pick up bread, get a couple loaves for home. And there it is. It's always packed. Always packed that place. So we're just outside of Buffalo. This is probably actually part of Buffalo. And there's a spot right here. Let's do it. So it costs uh, six, 605 to get off the highway here for the toll, for the amount of uh, distance I went on the highway, I guess. Once again, someday I will be buying a few of these chairs. They are so cool like 169 bucks. I think you can actually have them shipped. Someday. Someday. But it's bread right now. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, got my four loaves of bread. Hope none of my family watch this vlog because they'll want one. So we'll have to keep it a secret, just between you and me. Don't tell my sister, don't tell my mom, but I have four loaves of bread. White Cracker Barrel bread. <laughs> We have made it to the Canadian border to Canada. We're still in the US at the moment, obviously. So there's another toll coming up to get over the bridge. I've got a bag of change still and a $5 bill, that's it. That's again, one of those reasons why I didn't want that gas attendant to take my money. But hey, we'll make it. Well, that was the easiest crossing ever. Anything to declare? No, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> no, I didn't barely stopped. And uh, yeah, so that was the best ever. Now we're gonna pay a toll and I don't know how much it is. That's all I have left <laughs> and a bag of change. Talking about bringing the exact amount of money. Unbelievable. So it costs uh, 375 to get through there, American. I think it was 475 Canadian. But uh, I just wanted to use up my American money, get it out of here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are headed home. We have 190 kilometers to go. Uh, it says we'll be home around quarter to four. Let's go. It is 10 to two. I've pulled off the highway because I really haven't eaten any food today. I had the muffin and two coffees and that's all in water. So uh, this is a Tim Hortons, Wendy's, Pizza Pizza, Mr. Sub. So we're gonna go in there and see what triggers Ken on this fine Saturday, or sorry, Sunday afternoon. What will Ken order? Let's go in and find out. I found a spot right here too. But I wanna get out of the car too, so I'm not gonna do a drive through. 
I think I'll probably end up at Tim Hortons because I don't really want anything like a burger or pizza or anything right now. Thank you. No oh. problem. Aw, thanks. Have a good day. You too, sir. That was nice of him. That's an Iron Chef. we got Wendy's. Tim Hortons over there. I'll probably do a sandwich. I haven't been to Mississauga in a while either. Love the grill. Turkey breast. Santa Fe chicken. It all looks good. So I went the uh, turkey baking club and a chocolate milk. Let's go do a little review on the vlog channel just for you. Oh, I got some new Canadian stuff. Canadian shirt. Sweater. That'd be cool. How are you? That one's nice too. I got my own. I got my own. There's a burrito place here. There you go. Welcome. This whole door open for everybody today. I haven't had the door open for me by an elderly gentleman. Noisy truck. Time to get a new one. Let's go do a review, people. We'll start with our chocolate milk. See if it opens properly. Are you ready? Perfect. Seal test. Nice. Ah. Perfect. All right, so she gave me one napkin. Oh, there's more napkins. She gave me a bunch of napkins. I noticed as she was wrapping it, a piece of bacon fell out. I almost yelled at her to, to pick that up and put it back on my sandwich. This fell on like the, the serving platform. Oh, check it out. Scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. I love turkey sandwiches. It's probably like the health, healthiest thing for you as long as it's not uh, processed turkey. This is probably processed turkey. A little limp piece of bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, they put um, like a honey mustard. Maybe. Let's check the top. Yep. Honey mustard. It's a lot of bacon. We got tomatoes. Lots of lettuce. And turkey. Let's take a bite. They didn't ask me what kind of bun that, that I wanted. I'm not sure if you have a choice. That's as good as you would make it at home. That's why I think, uh, you know, to me that's a healthy choice lunch option. Let me know in the comments below if you think that is probably one of the top healthy foods you could eat for lunch. Chances are if you took the bacon off it, it would be even better for you. But hey, <laughs> you gotta have bacon with your turkey. Mm. Mm. It's a healthy chunk of turkey. Mm. Uh, I don't know how much it was. Um, it gave me $11 and change back. So it'd be like $8 and, and something for that. It's a bit pricey, but again, this is like a healthy choice option over a burger or some of the other things that we, you could order. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Just for you on the vlog channel, I am starving. I'm going to go into the speed up. So hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? I don't care. On my rating scale, guys, just for you uh, on my vlog channel, just for the Domic Nation, just for you crew, uh, that is a definite go up and get it now. 
And again, if you don't want a greasy burger or a slice of pizza or well, any of those other kind of fast food type things, although this is technically fast food, it's fast food sandwiches. And, it, and again, that would have been something you would have made at home. Perfect, perfect piece of bread or bun. Uh, lots of lettuce, tomatoes, uh, plenty, a hearty, uh, hearty bunch, a hearty pack, a hearty helping that's it a hearty helping of turkey breast and then the bacon on top of that with a bit of that uh, uh sauce on it or what's it the, the mozzarella no <laughs> oh my brain is fried uh the honey mustard <clears throat> on top just gave it a nice little kick uh, not hot or anything, but it's just nice tanginess uh, and sweet. So there you go, guys. This is my rating from me to you. I hope you enjoyed that little review uh, here on the vlog channel. Time to go home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made it home. Everything's good, everything's safe. And I gotta unpack everything, put everything where it's supposed to go. And uh, so thanks for coming along on this little adventure to New York's, New York State, uh, Oneonto, like Ponyonto. <laughs> okay, so we'll put all the stuff away and uh, we will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for sticking along, and thanks for coming along. Ciao.